Greetings everyone, Audrey here with a quick lesson on the history of ichthyology. Now right now I am doing a short series about the history of ichthyology, which is also known as the study of fish. Now today's quick lesson is going to be about the ancient roots of ichthyology. Starting out, we are going to be taking a look at ancient Egypt, roughly 1500 BCE. Now, Egyptians depicted fish in tomb paintings and hieroglyphs. They used nets, traps, and hooks, and documented knowledge of local fish species. Then, in ancient Greece, from 500 to 300 BCE, we have Aristotle. Living from 384 to 322 BCE, he is considered the father of ichthyology. He described over 100 species of fish in History of Animals, and he made early observations on fish anatomy, reproduction, and habits. Some were accurate, others were speculative, but all were influential. Next up, we have medieval and Islamic contributions from 500 to 1500 CE. During the Islamic Golden Age, scholars like al-Damiri, or al-Jahiz, recorded observations on fish behavior, contributing to zoological works, and in Europe, ichthyological progress was limited due to prevailing religious doctrines and a focus on theological knowledge over empirical science. And that wraps it up on our quick lesson about the history of ichthyology. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys.